So let's go ahead, use the well again, and take okay. the rope. So, I mean, we got some stuff. Yeah. We got an animal skull. We got a couple of buds and... Use that weird skull on the rope. Just, just humor me. Oh, all right. But no, no. No, okay. Because it go. looks like you could have made that into, like, a grappling hook. That looks like a skull that could be a grappling hook. Yeah. I mean, if it's made of bone, it's not going to work that well. Well, you I'm just not needed to get using caught. normal human logic. <laughs> right. It's This is a point-and-click adventure game. Logic yeah. has no place here. Um... Also, I could kind of see it, you know, loop the rope through the eye holes and then... Through the eye holes and... yeah. Well. Uh, we have no recipes, but we have mushrooms. Mushrooms. And we'll probably get the recipes once we're into the castle and get to the laboratory. Yeah, so, wait a you've second. Got these, you've got these metal bars. Use the bucket on the rope and nothing happens. That's a pity, because that, like, I figure, attach the bucket to the rope and then throw the bucket at the drawbridge, maybe trying to pull it down. That's why I have a coin. You toss the coin down the well, nothing flatters or tumbles down for what seems like an eternity. I didn't expect that to work. I'm down a <laughs> coin. Yeah. Move, move. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> mm, what is that? Is that a thing? No, that's just part of the well. Yeah. I'm telling you, you've got a rope and you've got windows. Like, okay, I'll use the rope on the windows, but... No, I, I, I don't think it's going to work that easy. Yeah, without something to uh, anchor with, it's not going to make a good grappling hook. Huh. You try to swing the rope overhead to gain momentum needed to make it to the window. The problem is the end is not weighty enough to do any good. So that's a clue right there. Yeah. You could try it with a rock. I did that one time. Uh, nope. Aw. Uh. We were trying to that that hammer the uh, metal bar into like a useful shape. Maybe. Nope. Let's try the other metal bar. Nope. Hmm. I was certain that if you tie the rope to the spear, that would that would make the most sense, right? Since we didn't need the spear to get through the uh, troll anyway. Oh, this is an arrow. Fuck. Mm. Okay. Perfectly balanced. One end has a sharp and deadly point. Did, did I just try it on the wrong thing, then? Like, maybe. Alright. It's one of those things where you think it, you, it would work just fine. Yeah. Like... Tie, we, we have so many things to tie the rope to, and it's not accepting any of them as the right answer. So we know what to do, we just have to figure out how they want us to do it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to start rubbing everything against the rope. I've already tried the dirk. How about the broom? <laughs> okay, we've already tried the broom. Let's go down the line, and let's hook it onto the ski. Okay, let's try using it on... We've tried it the hammer and the spear. Have we tried the hammer? No, it's not, not going to work on the hammer. Let's try it on the sword. No, let's try it on the scepter, which seems a bit much. It probably won't be the arrow, right? Uh, we've already tried it on the bar. We've tried it on everything now, except for, like, dumb things, like a mushroom. 
Alright, we're missing shit. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We're missing shit. Oh, it's the silver orb. I wonder if that's the orb that actually goes on top of the uh, Staff of Ages. I think so. I think so. I totally think so. I think that's why you still have it after using it twice. Wait, one last thing. Nope. Right. Talk to York. The drawbridge may be closed, but that isn't the only way into the castle. If there was ways to reach those windows, maybe you could put something together that would help. Try looking for it <laughs> around the caves. There might be something down there yep. you can use. Okay, That's so exactly what we were gonna do. So we're missing things. Okay. We're ahead of the little shit. <laughs> but at least that confirms it, right? Didn't I have a gear once? Yeah. You used it in there. Did I? Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'm usually good at spotting shit that I need to grab. Like, we've already looked at these stones. No, there's, there's, there is a hint. There is, have you used the hammer on, well, no, that wouldn't work. That doesn't seem plausible. Do we have a, sh no, we don't have a shovel. Well, we've got a hammer maybe we could use on it, but why, that wouldn't make any. I thought I just used the hammer. Okay. Oh. So the hammer won't uh, won't break these mirrors. Wait, if those two won't <laughs> break because they're magic, why isn't this one glowing? I thought I it may need it may need another skull to get going. Maybe. I don't think this is our room. Okay. Um, you know now, what? I have wondered for a second if there was another... Right? What, another way to enter this, or...? Well, like, maybe maybe there was a different combination of the torches. Mmm, looks like a no. I can't go back. Let's see. What is in this room with the wizard? There was mushrooms in here. That was pretty much the only thing to grab. I'm double checking. Yep. Yeah, I don't see anything else in here to grab. I don't think we missed something on the floor. I think we missed a puzzle. Hmm. Well, we still. Um, what if? What if we can open that chest in the dragon's area? I mean, we can go back. Been a while since we've been in there. Yeah. Also, we have... Oh, this is another one of those rune buttons. Mm-hmm. For some reason, it didn't register as something different in my head. It was just like a, a brand new thing. <laughs> Dump some water on that stupid thing. On what stupid thing? On that brazier. Why, why did I do that? Well, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Well, I have to refill the water thing again. Right. But... You... you... Uh, it's, it's worth trying. It's worth trying. 
Do me a favor. If for no other reason than to piss off the wizard. <laughs> Legit. I'll burn his rugs. And I'll help. We have uh -huh. now, yeah, an angry hits of coffin. So, so, what did that do for us? Uh, why Melbourne hooked over the tripod? You know, to poor craftsmanship of the piece. Jeez, brutal. <laughs> take it. No way to take the brazier. Or is it an over the shoulder boulder holder? Punch it. Nice. You strike the brazier <laughs> with your closed fist. The bowl parts and legs with a loud clang. Well, I can take it now. Put the hook in your set. Ho a hook? Well, they're not subtle about what you use it for, that's <laughs> for sure. Yep, well, there we go. <laughs> Okay, all right. Look, God we... bless the Captain Spite. <laughs> <laughs> I am wrath for a reason. But uh, can we have a discussion real quick? All right. Let's let's have a discussion. If I weren't being petty, <laughs> all right. I I just. <laughs> I have another um, idea. While we're here, because my other idea was like we never got across that bridge. Can't take the campfire. If you put out both campfires, will that little asshole quit throwing? I mean, maybe. Nipple back to you? Well, you need some water first. Well, I think I have. I think I have some water. Oh no, I I don't. Put out that other campfire. I mean, okay. First, let's use this torch on the campfire because that was going out. You might be heading for the castle proper if memory serves. It's that way. York finishes without indicating which direction he's referring to. Good job, York. You're the breaths, York. He's he's just about as useful as tits on a snake. Yeah, some people really like snake titties. Yeah, you, you know what? In uh, what what the fuck was it? In Chimera Squad, there is a snake with tits. Yeah, that's because everyone was talking about how hot the uh, tit snake was from XCOM 2. <laughs> oh my god. Mental tit note. Snake. Draw tit snake. <laughs> Remember... If you're not squeezing the tit snake tits, you failed as a man. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so that's four runes that we've seen so far. Yeah. And they're all different. All right, let's use grappling hook with this window. I mean, can I, I just want to say, who would have thought about getting a grappling hook out of a, out of a, yeah, it doesn't even make sense me. how it was holding the out of a here. fucking bowl. Okay. This how are you supposed <laughs> to figure that out? 
Displaying an expertise you didn't know you possessed, you swing the grappling hook about your head a few times and let it fly. The hook catches into the window slit of the castle wall. What? What is this down below here? Is this is this stone or what is this? This muddy bottom of the moat looks far from inviting. So can I just walk up to this rope then and use it? Apparently. The loophole. Use the loophole in what? What? What loop? What? What loophole? Did I find a loophole? Maybe it's just go rope. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, you jump down from the muddy moat before using the hanging rope to pull yourself up in the window above. Well, we've got a couple of things. Uh, why don't we let Doomlad uh, read this? Go for it, dude. Right. You read the words on the scroll, noticing it is a letter addressed to the wizard Greylord. My friend, I will remain secure in my demands here in the Gatekeeper Mountains, guarding the northern passage. Look for my signal pyre, if more come from the north. I regret that I must bring the most formidable pet with me, since only I can control it. The name Undhelm is signed and a flourish at the bottom of the page. I don't know an Undhelm yet. I guess I better take that. <clears throat> um, we got this thing here. This type of iron cauldron was forged with one purpose, releasing boiling oil onto attacking forces, but can be used with two purposes, by creating a delicious stew. <laughs> Solidly built crate... Well, you know... It's a crate. So let's try. I mean, just try opening it first. I open crates with f fucking swords. Alright, we'll try and open it first. Ah! You grab the crate's lid, attempting to open. Your efforts are fruitless. Without warning, you are racked with a coughing fit and the iron taste of blood filling your mouth. I know that taste. Once again, the room begins to spin as you are haunted by the specter of the banshee and its curse. Okay. Swap the lever with a rope of hand. Oh, with an open hand. Rumble the chains, move the gears, and begin to turn. <clears throat> There's an unmistakable sound of a drawbridge being lowered outside. I'm going to have to start from the beginning, aren't I? Because of that fucking specter. Well... You manage to regain your equilibrium as the nausea withdraws and your senses return. You realize beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Banshee's curse is killing you. You must find a cure. Oh yeah, will you recommend? Well, if you're a Batman, you can just use your anti-Banshee spray. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. Go to try and pry it open. If I had an axe. Oh, Jesus. See? Yep. As hard as you try, you can't open the crate. What? Did it again. <clears throat> Since nothing else happened after the few moments you tried, stop. What the? F <laughs> I mean, that's one where they should have had a custom one saying, you've already smashed it open or something. Yeah, break it off! Now, can you look at them? Huh. Some ruffian has vandalized this wooden crate! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think we're done here. I don't see anything else that's of interest. I mean, there's a chain here. Well, you, that, that just released the draw, the yeah drawbridge. Yep. Hey, there we go. You test the secure ropes as you scamper out the window and successfully repel your way down the slick wall. Not unlike the image. Oh yeah, we've already done this. Oh, down the rug, burn it. Yeah, I know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a deep breath, you saunter across the drawbridge into the inner castle. Congratulations, you've earned the Infiltrator achievement. 
Oh, holy oh. shit. You're into the grand hall, the goblin jumps out from the shadows and surprises you with a war cry. While you backpedal, the beast tightens its grip on its weapon. And that weapon just happens to be an axe. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. I'm well, open some crates. Let me tighten my uh, thing on my weapon. Uh, actually, let's try spearing him. No, you have to do. Nope. <laughs> with more speed than you thought possible, the goblin anticipates your moves and brings down a wickedly pointed cudgel. The weapon penetrates your brain and puts an end to your brief yet adventure-filled life. <laughs> well, that that escalated quickly. It really did. It is well. a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Ended here. Christ. I don't even remember where I quick saved last. What the there's, there's the courtyard with the drawbridge. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I could, but like... <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, fine. I just wanted to not, in case the Banshee time started running out. I mean, we'll find out how bad the Banshee time is soon enough. Oh, if we gotta redo this, we'll redo this, but we'll be so much faster. I mean, the saves are counting your turns. This is... Okay. So I loaded up the sling. We know how to deal with this guy. Oh, no! Yeah, it's probably gonna be sword. Or something. Oh, I tried we, sword. We... No, you tried spear, didn't you? Oh yeah, you're right, I did try spear. Today. Let's see what the resume button does. Yep, there we go. Nope. Hmm, okay, so not the sling. I need something quick. They changed so it on us. They changed it on us, those bastards. Well, I mean, it's a goblin, not a cyclops anymore. Or giant, or whatever it was. Right, so we'll have to use the, uh, sword. Jesus Christ, seriously? Okay, so, new problem. Tales of your great sacrifice. Punch it. Don't load up anything. Don't just just. All right, all right. Let's... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking damn it! <laughs> Surprise fills the goblin's face as you throw a haymaker at its jaw. <laughs> With a sickening <laughs> crack, the goblin goes down like a sack of potatoes. You shake your hand or the mother of satisfaction. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Did you? <laughs> uh, you deliver a coup de grace in the unconscious goblin, ending its life. Southern stain once it, from the once again, my spite wins the day. Yeah, really. Yeah. Never tell me my temper isn't useful. <laughs> okay, it's it's dead. I see. Uh, let's go ahead and take take that torch. I only see the one torch. <laughs> There's another there. one in the. Uh near the center door. Oh, wow. Uh, Good eye. Ooh, nice. Well done. So you give the suit of armor a once over. It looks like there's something stuck in the visor. Oh, jeez. What? What? What did you get? What was that? You find a part of a mask. It looked you like take... a carnival mask or something. Oh, it's in the outfit. Is it? Okay, that's interesting. It appears to be part of a face made from a wooden and painted resembling an old crone skin. I don't want to put this on on me. Uh, you're uncertain if this trick the light, but you could have sworn that suit of armor just moved. Uh-oh. Great. It's obvious this suit of armor was made for dress parties and fancy occasions. You wouldn't be caught dead in, dead in one of these. 
judgmental, are we? Same. Despite its age, the suit of armor retains a high gloss as if somebody's been polishing it. Interesting. Well, we've got choices. Um, oh, mustn't forget. Thank you. <laughs> one day we're going to do that and find something underneath one of them rugs. So left to right or right to left, fellas? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, let's start from the left. The fabric of this banner is worn and tattered. No, well, fabric means burnable, right? Yeah. There's that one. Fuck yes. There's that one. <laughs> Whoosh. There we go. All right. Also, fuck the warlock. Well, this place looks vaguely familiar. The library must contain thousands of ancient tomes and books and manuscripts. A thick coat of dust covers everything. So everything is flammable. <laughs> Can you take the map like you used to could? Maybe. Used to could. You're such an okie. <laughs> <laughs> Made from hide-like material, this map shows the continent of Cal Tortolan. Let's take it. Try as you might, you are unable to remove the map from the wall. Huh. Well, here's another one. Yeah, the Maybe. same, but different. Okay. Things that were useful in the old world are, are now Easter eggs. Guess so. Here's a book entitled Nothing. Let's open that shit up. Crinkle of pepper, the book opens. Flip through the pages, noting the pages are blank. <laughs> Can uh, you take the glasses off of the skull? Have we ever tried that? I think so. York seems put off by your actions. He humps and harumphs with displeasure. Um, open trying skull. Trying to make him kiss? I guess. There's no way to open, open the skull. The... Eat the skull. You cannot eat the skull. <laughs> um. Hit skull, maybe? Can you let's, take? Let's try using the dirk on the skull. Whoa! Oh. Pry the glasses right. from the skull. All right. Good, good call. Let's go ahead and use those on me. Put the glasses on. You are more momentarily disoriented, but quickly regain your sense of balance. York lets out a burst of laughter. Flip through the pages. Nothing. Pages are blank. Here's another book. Word is handwritten with a flourish in this book called Lothar. Lothar. Uh, Captain, you want this one? Oh, sure. Go for it. Although you struggle with the poor penmanship, you read on, I am honored to have been selected by Pendril to document the workings of the circle of the newest initiate is a young man with an inquisitive nature. He has taken the name of Lechnir and intends to study the origins of time, although his mastery is yet to be chosen. The High One mentioned that Lechnir is not from his mine and thus cannot be groomed to become head of the circle rather the new initiate was chosen from an unorthodox scrying performed by Talamir. I do not trust that one I do not trust that one he has an ambition and a hunger that does not sit well with the, with the member of the circle Talamir was that the name of the warlock? I think so Ooh, I see. I spy a candle. 